Overall, this exam is very expensive. Try to pass this exam in the first attempt. So this was the biggest mistake. Online Academy and minimum four to six weeks. 12 out of 12 in these four stations. Eight to nine station of medical error. One station from the angry patient to complete history in three or four minutes. Read the notes and make your own approach. Follow the NHS website. No need to learn by heart medicine name, procedure name. Hello guys, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Dr. Faraz Ahmed and today in this video we are going to discuss about how to prepare for PLAB 2. How to pass PLAB 2 in the first attempt. You people must be knowing that after passing the PLAB 1, these days it is very difficult to get a seat of PLAB 2. If you are going to get a seat of PLAB 2, there will be at least 5 to 6 month gap between the date you and your exam of the PLAB 2. So after taking the PLAB2 seat and the fee of PLAB2 you must be knowing that 907 pound a big amount then uh, we will start the visa process. So visa process is also taking a long time these days and after having the visa definitely we will plan for the air ticket and tickets are also very expensive these days. So overall this exam is very expensive these days so please please I am going to say that try to pass this exam in the first attempt don't repeat the mistake don't do the mistakes which i did when i was here in the united kingdom for my first uh, you know attempt of plab 2 exam so now i will discuss that how to prepare for plab 2 exam what are the best strategies and uh, uh, from where we should start the preparation of the plab 2 uh, so let's discuss about it so in my first attempts there were some mistakes which i did uh, i came just 20 days before my exam and i never attended online classes in my home country when i came here i wasted my 10 to 12 days in taking the classes and i never read the academy notes when i wasted my 10 days in taking the classes in the academy because classes are so much lengthy that you will get bored and you will get tired so after taking these classes you will not be able to read the notes or anything at your residence so I took classes but I never read anything and I was you know feeling that I am going to die because I was in a lot of stress because there were only eight to ten days in my exam and I did nothing because I never practiced with anyone and what I do at this point I left all the classes and I locked myself in my residence and I read uh, my academy notes two times in ten days so what happened uh, after reading these notes that I was able to pass eight stations and two of my stations uh, I got filled with 0.5 and 0.5. So the only thing which lead to my you know failure was that I never practiced. I failed eight station and out of eight stations there were the four station. I was thinking that if I ever discuss with anyone uh, I could have passed these stations because there was a case uh, which I did wrong because I never practiced this type of the cases so practice 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 is very very important you will learn a lot of things from your partner so first mistake was this that i came late to the united kingdom so i would like to say that if you are going to take classes online in the pakistan or in the, your home country you should have at least at least at least six weeks in the united kingdom minimum minimum you should have four weeks all right the second thing which you have to do is that online academy and minimum four to six weeks in the United Kingdom. And the second thing, while you are in the United Kingdom, practice, practice, and practice. Practice with different people, okay? There should be a one, you know, a specific and the constant partner, but please practice with the different people while you are in the academy. And one thing more I would like to say, okay? Uh, there are 16 stations in the PLAB 2. One station from the teaching, one station from the semen, one station from the prescription, and one station from the examination. So these four stations, you can score 12 out of 12 in these four stations. So I would like to say that please practice these four stations, semen, examination, prescription, and teaching. Please practice these four stations on daily basis. Once you will be practicing these four stations on daily basis, like for four weeks while in the exam, you will be doing like you are an expert in these station and definitely you can easily score 12 out of 12 in these four stations. Okay, so please, please practice these four stations on daily basis. So there are 16 stations, four stations are from teaching, examination, semen, prescription, and there will be eight to nine stations from ethics and counseling. So this is the key. 
most of the people do what while they uh, when they come in the united kingdom or they are in their home country they keep reading history station again and again again and again they keep reading history station there will be only maximum two or three station from the history stations and there will be one station from the dermatology and with the picture you can easily diagnose this so from the history station there will be only two station and people keep on reading history station again and again this is the reason they get very little time to prepare for counseling and ethics station so the best strategy is this you should start practicing you should start reading notes from ethics and counseling so like now you have done with the ethics and counseling and you are done with the eight stations and along with these ethics and counseling you are reading those four stations on daily basis as well so what does it mean that you are done with 12 stations this is very good so there will be two station from the history all right like from the medicine like from the cardiology from the respiratory from git from neurology from rheumatology so in this way medicine is very long but weightage of exam is very short from the medicine so please don't read medicine in the start start reading ethics and counseling and read on daily basis station of semen prescription examination and teaching all right and then there will be a one station from the medical error one station from the angry patient one station from the problem colleague and one station could be from treatment refusal so these stations are very very easy you can easily do these station okay please keep in mind in the history stations in the medicine station you will have to ask whole of the history like you are going to make a diagnosis but in the uh, ethics and counseling station in medical error station angry patient station problem colleague and treatment refusal station there is no need to diagnose the station so these stations are very very you know easy to do the main thing in this station is your ips and your management skills so the other things you can do along with the start of your preparation from the uh, ethics and counseling station always 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 try to complete your history in three to four minutes in three to four minutes please complete your history this will come with the continuous practice okay complete your history at least at least in three to four minutes you know what happened uh, a lot of doctors while they are in the lab to exam there will be a bell of six minutes and they are still taking the history this is wrong approach this is the reason they are unable to complete the station and they got failed so your first aim should be you should complete history in three or four minutes all right and always always try to complete the station if there is six minute bell and you are saying that I am not going to complete the station, okay, you can shorten your management and you should complete your station. If you are going to complete the station, you will get one mark. But if you, if you are focused on the management and you are not completed with the management and you have not completed the station in this way, you can lose two marks. Please keep in mind complete history in three to four minutes and complete your station uh, in every every case and at the end please please never try to forget about safety netting and leaflets okay safety netting is very very important but leaflets you can skip in some stations like if there is a some chronic station if so, some ethics or constant station you can offer leaflet but if there is a, some emergency station an emergency cement station uh, there is no need for the leaflets all right so along with that that what you can do uh, I will suggest that whatever notes you are going to follow no worries about it read the notes and make your own approach once you will be able to make your own approach you will have very very much confidence in yourself and you will definitely pass the exam if you are going to copy if you are going to cram the approach of being written in the notes it can create problem for you people so read the notes whatever you want read it and make your own approach so the best thing for management is these days is none of the notes is you know uh, comprehensive or the accurate for the management the best thing you can do for the management is this you can follow the nhs website so let me tell you that how you can follow the nhs website for the management let's move to the computer so open any of the browser and paste the link given in the description of the NHS website. So this patient friendly NHS website will open in front of you. This is the website where all the diseases are explained in the patient friendly language. 
okay uh, so that you can easily explain the diseases to the patient so you we will search the chicken pox and here you will see that uh, first of all very simple definition of chicken pox is written over here you can tell this definition to the patient okay any of the definition you can uh, uh, take from the nhs website so pictures are given any of the picture could be given in the exam to diagnose the case okay so please keep watching these pictures on repeated basis in the management do's and don'ts of the uh, chicken pox are given over here so in the do's you can see that a lot of things are given over here you can make your own points so that you you can easily revise the things uh, while you are near your exam so this is very good website everything is explained in a very simple and patient friendly way same thing uh, don'ts are explained over here as well so let's discuss about the, some other disease like uh, now we will discuss about the epilepsy you can see that epilepsy is explained uh, in a very simple way uh, after that uh, you can read the symptoms of the epilepsy when to get the medical help so these are the indication of the medical help when you can get medical help on the urgent basis everything is written over here so treatment options of the epilepsy are written over here you can make your own notes from these uh, from the nhs website so living with the epilepsy this is very very important you can read this and a lot of questions can come from uh, the living with the epilepsy so you can see you can read all the points regarding any of the disease and you can make your own notes so these are the precautionary measures to avoid any harm while you are having the fit at the home so you can read all these points and you can again make your own notes so everything is explained in a very simple and patient friendly manner so sports in the layer apart from their swimming and cycling everything is explained over here so everything is explained in a patient friendly way so this is very very you know simple website you can use other important thing is that there is no need to cram there is no need to learn by heart medicine name procedure name or the name of the any type of clinic you can simply said that we will prescribe you some antibiotic medication we will give you some painkiller medication we will give you medication to resolve your swelling simple is that patient is not going to understand like i am going to give you the ibuprofen i am going to give you the clarithromycin this and this and if you're going to refer to some uh, type of clinic simply that now i am going to refer to one of my colleague who will treat your problem simple is that so please there is no need to cram for these things this is very important point so take home message is this please prepare well take online sessions of academies at your home country uh, come at least at, at least at least four to six weeks before your exam and practice with different people so practice is the main thing which will lead you to the success.